So the doctor got on the phone and he started listing off all of Sean's injuries. And Sean had a lot of injury, a lot of injury. The driver stated to the police at the scene that he had had from 12 to 15 beer in an hour. When someone's involved in a car accident, uh, whether or not they're seen in an ER room at a hospital or whether they come to the attorney first and get referred to a doctor, it's important that they get specialized care. Many attorneys, and if not most attorneys, uh, can make the claim that they will refer a client to a, a chiropractor or a general practitioner type of MD doctor. But I think it's important uh, for certain types of injuries that require specialized care that the attorney have relationships with competent and qualified specialists. If someone's injured and they go to a, an ER room, the care is very general, even though they may get a CAT scan or x-rays or something of that nature, uh, the person is always told to follow up with their doctor. So it's important when a client comes to us after having been involved in a car accident that we can refer them to a doctor that can suit their needs, that can help them heal and also help them get the best recovery as far as their auto accident case goes. If a client is injured uh, and receives uh, a shoulder injury or a lower back injury or knee injury, something of that nature, the most important doctors to have are neurosurgeons uh, who can uh, determine whether or not uh, radiating pain going down your arms or going down your legs uh, is uh, caused by a herniated disc or is something that it will be short-lived, uh, or an orthopedic surgeon who could perform surgeries for things such as rotator cuffs in the uh, shoulder area, uh, cruciate, li cruciate ligament uh, tears or cartilaginous tears in the knees, uh, or who, who can also perform lumbar surgeries. Most attorneys do not have relationships with these kinds of doctors who will see the client, test, uh, perform tests on the client, treat the client, and uh, even perform surgery on a lean basis. And by that I mean they will get this type of specialized care and they will not have to pay anything until their case is either settled or until we go to trial and recover money from them. I think this is very important because with these types of injuries, a chiropractor may offer temporary relief uh, or a, a general practitioner may uh, prescribe therapy and so you get uh, back rubs and, and heat pads and things of this nature, but not the kind of treatment that you need really to solve the problem. So uh, with our office, that is, uh, goes without saying that uh, if someone needs this kinds of treatment, uh, they will be sent to a specialist, they will get uh, MRIs on lien, they will not have to pay up front, they will not have to pay until their case is resolved, uh, they can have surgery at a uh, surgery center by a qualified doctor uh, without paying anything up front, and of course, all of these things could cost twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars or more and if you do not have a relationship with that kind of doctor the client can't get the treatment or if they do get the treatment they will have to pay the bill or even if they have health insurance they'll have to pay their copay or their deductible which could be several thousand dollars so it is important that uh, you have that kind of attorney who can do that and um, we do have those relationships with doctors that we've, we've cultivated over 30 years or more. When a client comes to my office, of course, we give a free consultation as most personal injury attorneys do. Uh, if the client chooses to retain my office, uh, sending them to specialists where they don't have to pay anything until the case is settled, uh, having testing done such as MRIs uh, where they don't have to pay anything until the case is resolved, and uh, also physical therapy for as long as they need it. We will, perform, we will provide all these services for them.